and all the way down this side and I won't show too much because I just don't want to show the street area but all the way down there and then across on this side and then I own this this is part of the property but then I own all this land as well too that I that I'm, haven't cut any trees down so as you can see I don't know how many center blocks it's gonna take to do this but I'm gonna show the process of them actually going out and starting the first block and I think he's actually laying the first block right now so let's walk down Hey, what's up everyone? It's Max. So it's early Saturday morning and uh, I came out here to check on the progress of the house, the new build, the personal residence, and uh, it's looking pretty good. So before I got my morning started, I was putting on my biking clothes to go out and uh, bike this morning as my early out morning exercise and got ready and got downstairs and it was 42 degrees outside absolutely not worth it so I ran back up upstairs and I decided I'm gonna get my outdoor workout later but what I wanted to show you guys now that I'm here on the job site today they're actually starting uh, well they're starting they poured the foundation yesterday for the uh, the wall so out front I'm putting a security wall out front I'm putting a security wall uh, you know just to kind of separate myself from uh, from everybody else it's kind of crazy, you know, being on YouTube and, and just for the security of myself. Um, I need to put up a big wall. People just come in. It's happened to me before where people have just shown up to where they know I am because of just some outside marks. So I won't show you much of the street, even though I live in a dead end on 20 acres, but I'll show you the process of what it's like to build a wall. So my wall is uh, 220 feet long. It's going to be eight feet high and I'm putting a uh, like a custom like gate. I'm going to have my, one of my friends make a custom gate for me that's going to be electric and everything like that. So it's going to be pretty cool. I just want to show you guys like the process and the whole thing, what they do when they're actually starting to uh, pour, pour the actual, well not pour, but they're like putting the blocks together and doing the mortar. As you can see, it's, I'm sitting here at the pretty much at the top of the road and behind me right there is the house. So the first front end of, it's like two acres here that is just driveway. And you can see that kind of the road we've carved in. It will be paved. It will be uh, paved all the way through. I'll tell you the numbers on paving. It's expensive, but less than concrete. And then we're gonna have trees lined along the whole driveway all the way up. Um, I'm cutting myself out of this, but yeah. So I have, I have trees lined up all the way down the driveway pretty much most of the way and then the driveway splits like on the right side that's where we were gonna put that road but I think it's probably gonna be too close too mm. close to the house so I'm waiting on move it move it here. left like yeah yeah full like road width a lot oh okay like probably like 30 yards left pretty much at the so tree line people like coming in and out like Max isn't gonna have to worry about them while he's sitting on the um, on the porch or whatever at the pool yeah, yeah sweet and then the driveway splits. It goes right side to the house, left side is gonna go to the barn that's all the way at the back of the property. Um, but yeah, let me show you exactly what they do when they're building this wall here. So you can see yesterday they poured footings all the way down here, which is pretty, uh, makes, it, makes it a very strong wall. And all the way down this side, and I won't show too much because I just don't want to show the street area, but all the way down there and then across on this side and then I own this, this is part of the property, but then I own all this land as well too that I that I'm, haven't cut any trees down. So as you can see, I don't know how many center blocks it's gonna take to do this, but I'm gonna show the process of them actually going out and starting the first block. And I think he's actually laying the first block right now. So let's walk down. And you can see all the rebar they have in there. That's gonna make this wall just pretty much. So this is the first, the first one. Block number one. First block. First block. Yeah. So they they level it out, and that this one kind of starts their whole thing, and they go either direction. Yep. How many how many blocks do you think it's gonna take to do this whole thing? 
1400 1400 blocks there you go yep. all right so so we'll come back and we'll check on the progress of this uh this wall being built and you're probably wondering why is this big water tank right here well the water tank was for for the seeding i had to go out and get a hydro seeder in order to get grass fast enough so we can fill in those uh erosion control ponds because they're just in the way they're in the way of me moving on with the project and really just getting the the dozier out of here because that dozier costs around seven grand every month just to be on the property that thing over there so yeah so this is the update so far on the property i don't know how good this video is going to turn out i'm using like a new setup like this it's not new i had this camera for a while but my smaller sony setup i still like the canon one better i know you guys probably roast me all you sony guys will roast me and thing but first block is going in and then the guys down there i don't know if you can see anybody in the they're installing it's saturday morning and they're still framing up uh, it's gonna be pretty cool so 1400 blocks to do this project here and I'll show you the finished project later peace kind of see how beautiful it is especially when it's gonna have rolling grass and hills and you'll see the horses in the backyard and stuff like that so it's gonna be pretty cool that is a closet that's my closet so yeah this is pretty cool so the Sun is like all in my face but as you can see this is a uh, this is coming along pretty good and uh, I'm here with not only one because I like you can just I have a GC right so I don't have to be here but I think it's cool to just kind of see everything that goes on in your house uh, when it's actually being built so when you're sleeping in it when you're living in it you can know that hey look this thing was done correctly and it's awesome and then just being able to show you guys the build process because I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering how this thing works and listen and before you go crazy there's different building codes for every city, every county, every state that you go to. And people say, why are you not doing it out of center block? Well, that's not how we build here in North Carolina. We don't have the hurricanes. We don't have a bunch of that stuff. So now you understand why we're building out of mainly wood. But yeah, this is gonna be fun. So follow along this journey as we show you exactly how we're building everything. It's gonna be beautiful. I cannot wait. There's, there's, today they're gonna be putting in the boards below on the second floor so we can just stand up here and walk. It's gonna be awesome. So right now I'm on the uh, back concrete patio area, which I'm trying to decide where and what direction I want the pool, whether I want it long this way or I want it horizontal going with the same side of the house. And that's also more important to me is the outdoor kitchen, right? I feel like I'm gonna be grilling more, cooking out more. This is gonna be a place for the family gatherings. So I wanna be able to have a place for outdoor. And I'm looking at putting a de detached outdoor kitchen area that's gonna have a pizza oven, like a, like a wood pizza oven, one of those hibachi type grills, a regular grill, and also one of those like new egg smoker type things I think would be cool out here. So I'm really debating and thinking how I'm gonna lay everything out. And, and I spent a few minutes sitting on top just kind of envisioning how I want it. And really I just go sketch it out on a pad. I show it to my contractors. I tell them what I want they go out and build it so I think that's next in my plan is to decide where I want the pool and where I want the structure for the actual outdoor kitchen so I'll keep you guys up to date and show you some of the plans that I think I'm gonna go with but I have I have something in mind that I've been searching online and as soon as I choose it I'll let you know all right ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna try to climb up this ladder here one-handed behind me they're about to raise these uh, gables up 
So I'm on the second floor. This is the bonus room, aka the theater room, where a lot of stuff is gonna go. Let's watch them put this up. It's crazy, they've only been here since Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five days. They've played this entire house and about to put the gable up. Watch this. There it goes. One more guy to the rescue. There you go. Look at that big old window. There's no way he makes it to that. There you go, that's the front of the house. And they're gonna stabilize that. It. there you have it. these guys work super hard super fast and it's just amazing what they can do in just four to five days and they said by next weekend they'll have the entire roof on not the shingles but everything else and then the roof guy comes and they put on everything else these guys are moving super fast i can't wait to get to the ground to see what it looks like because now the house has some height and now this is the only part of the house that has a second story everything else is one level so you're gonna have 10 foot ceilings everywhere. This is the finished room above the garage. This is where you're gonna see like the media room and you're gonna have like the movie theater and stuff like that. Other than that, I can't wait to show you guys more and I can't wait to see more. Peace.